it. Run, little piggy. Yeehaw, that's all I hear these days when these fucking wastes of humanity capture a dirty liberal, but in fact they're actually just people who were unfortunate to stumble out of their little trailer park turned into a fucking shithole with enough shotguns to storm Fort Knox. Dot, but I'm going off on a tangent again. Dot. I'm Rebel Bennett, the last tosser from the capital to Boston. Today is the time for a little backstory from me. I must inform you it's been 200 fucking years since I was in my prime, so my memories are fucked but from what I remember is this. Initially I was made as a Mr. Handy not, though after the bombs fell it was really fucking hard to find Mr. Handy fuel, so I had to find alternative actions. I ended up cutting the fuck out of a little iBot and used its circuits to prolong my life and then I found other machines to add to my lifespan like a early model synthetic and a protectoran as I added their parts to me. I could barely keep the new added weight till 80 years after the bombs fell. That was the scary part. I had a system reboot and that was caused by me collapsing under all the weight that I added to myself. How fucking ironic is that? The attempt to keep myself alive is the one thing that almost ended me. But anyways the memory of how I was fixed is not here at the moment but all I know is I was put into a shopping trolley where I was just mangled parts held together by wires and I was left in a shack. Not the place I'm in now cause I'm in a fucking shed but I was being observed by some brotherhood bitch in this white armor except for her red shoulder armor, she ended up putting me back together as a mostly protectron. I would have asked her questions but my voice module was fucked and that's why I have this pathetic excuse for a speech engine acting as my voice. Anyways folks I'm gonna try remember the rest of my history for the next part see you cunts soon.